I really didn't have a trades background. I started out working as a carpenter's helper. Just had a rugby tournament and I took a knee to the head and had concussion symptoms for about a year. And turns out uh, they found a brain tumor. From there, it was about nine months before I could walk again. My whole carpentry career was adjusted based on this whole surgery. And that's when uh, I decided to get my apprenticeship. I was always more hands-on, and that's kind of why I got into the trades. And then I had to go back and do testing, which was never my strong suit. Doing the courses, it was a struggle. I failed the Red Seal exam twice. Um, didn't think I was gonna finish it. When we learned that less than half of those who initiate Red Seal Trade certification are actually making it through to completion, it was clear that there was some serious underlying issues that were getting in the way. And those could be anything from someone's personal circumstances, their economic situation, could be a language issue, an undiagnosed learning disability, or some other essential skills gap. These are things that can be supported so that you can overcome those barriers and, and get to that finish line. And that's what this program does. The Coast Capital Road to Red Seal program was developed to help apprentices reach their goals and achieve certification. It's really a customized one-on-one -on -one approach to helping individuals succeed. You know, it really takes a full community, I think, for apprentices to be successful. And at Skilled Trades BC, we really believe our role is to advance the Skilled Trades training system. Having that Red Seal qualification or that full designation, that can really lead to fantastic careers, whether it be on the tools or perhaps as a small business owner later in life. We know there's going to be 85,000 jobs coming out in the Skilled Trades in the next 10 years. Skilled trades are for everyone. And so we want more women to consider skilled trades. We want more Indigenous people to consider skilled trades. And we really want British Columbians to know how great these careers are, how many opportunities there are to upscale, to take refreshers, to support each individual in their learning journey because we want to make sure people are successful to get them into those jobs, but then to make them successful as apprentices, into journey people, and then to train our next apprentices for British Columbia. Over the years, you know, you work with so many people and everybody has a different story. With Tanner, it was about identifying what those gaps were, but also we were able to walk beside him so that when he got to the exam, he nailed it. <laughs> Michelle helped me get enrolled into a program to refresh everything and went over different ways to study and what I needed to focus on. If Michelle wasn't there to help me through it, I don't think I would be a Red Seal Carpenter to this day. I remember it clearly because uh, I got called saying I passed a test. <laughs> it took three times, but it was well worth it in the long run. Getting my Red Seal income wise, it definitely helped quite a bit. It definitely pushed my career in an upward trajectory and now I'm a general foreman for a decent sized company and running all the special projects. To bring in the extra income, it means the world because my wife is able to stay home and watch our son every day I get home and he throws on his high-vis vest and says I'm a worker man and he wants to come to work with me and uh, play with the machines. To see his face light up like that, it makes everything else worth it. Being in the trades and being able to support my family that way is huge.